Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Linsar BH607 cordless vacuum cleaner. Now Linsar as a brand are not that well known in the vacuum market, but this is really their first shot at it. And what I want to do is to give it a test just to see what it's like, some of the features and benefits that it offers. So I've got it charged up, let's have a look. Now the first thing you'll notice is it is a fairly standard design so this, this type of design, the, the stick vacuum as they're called in the market, um, has been replicated by quite a few manufacturers. Uh, but really if it's a, a design that works for most brands, especially Dyson, then I don't see why they shouldn't go along that route. Um, what I will do is I'll show you this because I'll, I'll take this part off. So you can use it as a main vacuum or you can use it as a handheld. All you do is you press the button in there and that's removed so that's nice and easy to do and the first thing to notice is it has got a really large bin on it and this apparently has a 0.8 litre capacity and if you're comparing them to others on the market then that's actually a really good size bin uh, especially some of the cheaper Dyson so uh, for example on the the V6 and V7 then you're not looking at that sort of capacity so when it comes to the bin it is very easy to empty the first thing you notice is you have got a red button on the front here all you need to do is press that and just make sure you hold it clearly over a bin or a lot of these we do recommend doing outside because if you've got all the dust dropping it, it uh, you can get some dust coming back so especially if you're allergic to dust or things like that then I'd recommend doing that outside but yeah, so once you've done that, once you've emptied it, then you can just pop that back up. You will notice on the sides that you have got a little padlock on there. And basically that means what you can do is you can actually twist it and the bin comes off. And I always really like things like this because I don't know if you've seen any of my other videos. I'm quite an advocate, put my teeth back in, quite an advocate of cleaning things like this because I, I always think that if you can keep these nice and clean then things like the performance are a lot better and it can look after the vacuum a lot better than just leaving it and just emptying it and not bothering to clean it so basically with that that's it's all washable just rinse it under water and just let it dry and then that just pops back on uh, just inside here I will just show you this what you can do is you can actually twist that and to the side you've got a mini HEPA filter we have used this a little bit so that's why it's a bit dirty so this is a little HEPA filter and you will find with this again you can wash it but with any of these parts whenever you do wash anything we always recommend to make sure they are completely dry before you put the vacuum back together uh, that is extremely important because if you don't then you could damage the vacuum and things like that won't be covered under the warranty and to put it back together all you do is you just twist those and that just pops back on there and as far as the bin you just relocate it on there twist it and then you're ready to go talking about the filters there is one other filter on the back and all you do is you just press those buttons in and then that comes off and what you'll find is you've got a little filter in there grab that out so that's that's really designed as it's like the the exhaust filter and then once you put that back on just you can give it a clean and then that just goes back on the the back there so this model has a 40 minute runtime which really around this price point is actually very good even some of the more expensive products in the market like the Dyson products are some of them are quite a lot less than that and to switch it on you've got the on and off switch on the back here and what you'll also have on the right hand side you've got the high and the low button so clearly if you want to get the maximum 40 minute run time then what you'll find is that you do need to use it on the lower suction but if you have got an area say a carpet that is really dirty then you might want a, a bit of a boost so press that button on the right and what that will do is that will uh, really increase the suction but just be aware that 
Uh, and it's the same on any Collars vacuum, that by using the higher suction, it will reduce the battery runtime. So I'll just show you that. And you may have seen on the side here that you have got three LED indicators and that's basically showing you how charged the battery is and clearly at the moment it is fully charged so it had all three LEDs but it just works its way down and it's just a nice simple indicator and once it gets down to the last LED then you know it's time to charge it. So while we're on the subject of the battery and charging, first of all it does come with a normal charger so this just plugs into into any socket uh, with these you have got the advantage that you plug it in so you can just plug it in like that into the side and what you've also got you've got the ability to remove the battery and to do that you've got a clip just underneath here and that pulls out like that now I really like the option of having the battery as a separate item and um, basically that means that over the years when the battery does start to reduce in life then you can get it replaced and you don't have to change the whole vacuum. Uh, quite a few other manufacturers they have them static on the vacuum so that when the battery goes on it then that's almost right enough the whole vacuum. But all you need to do to, to put it back on it just clips on and then just clips back into place. So this vacuum also comes with a wall bracket and you've got the two screws at the back there and that's basically how you mount it onto the wall. And to put the vacuum on all you do is it just goes on there and clearly you just need to make sure that you mount it high enough so that you've, if you've got the, the wand underneath then it's not uh, hitting the floor. So that's just really nice simple design which I, I do really like and as far as charging it um, with other manufacturers like Dyson, it's the, the charger is actually part of the, uh, the wall mount, whereas with this it is still separate. So you do still need to make sure you've got a, a plug socket nearby and then just make sure that the, the lead can go high enough so you can charge it while it's uh, mounted in the wall mount. And the other little thing that I do really like is you actually got space on the side here for a couple of the tools and they can just sit on the side like that because I must admit that there's nothing more annoying than when you've got a vacuum and you do wall mount it but you've not got enough space to put all of the tools and while I'm on the subject of the tools I'll just mention these and it does mainly come with these two little tools that can make it into a handheld so you've got this one this is a, a standard crevice tool and this is so with these they do just clip onto the end there and then you've got a button on here you just press that and then the whole tool just removes so that's nice and easy um, this one it is a brush and an upholstery tool all in one it is very similar to a competitor's tool uh, but clearly if, if it works well then I suppose what they've done is they've gone along the route and looked at the design and come up with something similar so with this all you do is you push it up and that makes it into a brush that's quite a soft dusting brush and then to bring it back all you do is you press the button and that comes back there and then you can use that as an upholstery tool what you can also do is if you want to use the wand with the small tool then you can also do that so you just put the put the wand on there and then if you wanted to use say the, the crevice tool then you've also got that ability so that just enables you so if, if you've got um, say high ceilings or you just want to reach up high then you've got that option as well so when it comes to the floor head then you've actually got different bristles on here and for maintenance purposes all you need to do is you just pull this out of the side and then the whole brush bar can pull out and as you can see we have used it a little bit but on here you've got three different types of bristles so you, well you've got you've got these blue slightly stiffer bristles you've got this red which are, are very soft 
and then you've got a rubber finish for the third type and it's just really a combination of the three we tend to find with especially with other brands it, it works really well so I will get a bit of test in a moment but to put it back together all you do is you just pop that back in the side and then that just clips back in place and it's just little things like that that I, I do really like a lot of other manufacturers you still need to get your screwdriver out to remove the brush bar but just the simplicity of it um, there's nothing worse than having to vacuum but for, for a lot of people they hate vacuuming but there's nothing worse even after that having to clean the vacuum but just you know having little things like that where you can just makes life a lot easier I, I do really like that so I said I'd give it a go and on the left we've got some porridge oats and on the right we've got some rice and unfortunately with the type of carpet we've got it's actually quite wiry so it can actually make it quite difficult for the vacuum so it will be really interesting to see how it performs I must say, I was actually really impressed. I hadn't tried that before, but the porridge oats are normally a little bit easier, but the rice, especially on this type of carpet, can normally be really difficult. And I know it's only a small section, but it is quite a good indicator as to how good this vacuum actually is. So if you are thinking of buying one of these, then you can either visit one of our showrooms to come and have a go with it, if you're in either Leicester or Rugby in the UK, or if you're not, then I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. I hope you enjoy this quick video on the Linsar BH607 Cortis Vacuum Cleaner. Please give us a thumbs up on a YouTube video, leave any comments below. I'd always ask for comments, whether they're good or bad about the video, or about the vacuum itself, if you've got one, or if you're thinking about buying one, then just drop us a message and I will reply to you. Thanks for watching.